night after correspondence with us. Jerry was big in the ice skating field. He was a professional for 12 years. He owned three ice rinks, including the one on Western. And right now he lives in Carpinteria on a six acre spread where he raises avocados and a 1,500 square foot greenhouse for approximately 10,000 plants. He has generously provided his plant table for us. And I'm sure everybody's anxious for that, but first let's hear from Jerry right there. How many uh, were in the society when I was president? There's more left than I thought. <laughs> I really didn't see that many familiar faces when I first walked in. Looks like there's quite a few of us still around. Well, uh, this is going to be about Donna Glossom's Alliance Intergenerics tonight. That's something that uh, I didn't start out to. When I first started growing, I was a, a Catalina breeder. I bred Catalina for many years before I started growing. The nice thing about this alliance is that there's cool growing, and there's warm growing, and intermediate growing. There's all kinds for all people. So you just have to kind of, there are lots of them that will grow outside of it. Uh, so you have to go, each plant is a little different. So you have to find out when you get the plant, whether it's going to grow outside around here or not. Uh, I think if we can have the lights now, I'll get right into it. I was so 
picture of later. Uh, and this is a uh, Tiger butter by a brassie. So when you put a brassie in it, that's a warm grower. So now these pig and love songs will grow anywhere. They'll grow in a warm greenhouse or a cold greenhouse or a medium greenhouse. And they have seven foot spikes with maybe 75 flowers of them. And there is one on the plant table tonight. In fact, I think there's two. They get quite large. That's the only bad thing about it. If you have a little tiny greenhouse, it tends to take up a lot of space. They will grow outside also around here. Uh, they don't really like uh, frost because the brassy is one parent. Uh, so if it's a frosty night, which we maybe get two or three, at the most around Palos Verdes, I guess, uh, you should bring it in us and put it in your garage or something. But anyway, the plant's large. I mean, the, the, the bulbs can get as big as two feet together. And uh, it's quite a big plant. It's a very, really uh, rugged plant. And it has turned out, it's made a few good pair of uh, good uh, crosses, although a lot of crosses have not been as good. But a few of them have even been better. I just bought one from England that <coughs> has that as one pair and I paid 250 bucks for it. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. It was uh, in the World Orchid Conference show. It was in the exhibit for the, uh, the uh, Eric Young Foundation. I'm going to use it for a parent. It's an Alexander R. That's the next generation down. So these things can be very pretty. They are certainly easy to grow. Here's another one that's easy to grow. Uh, this is the Donna City of Tiger and Bure. This is uh, a tiger butter hybrid crossed with uh, tiger butter actually crossed with uh, uh, Donna Cross and Victor Yant. And it makes a uh, very vigorous branching spike. A lot of flowers, not as big as the, uh, the Polinara, but uh, brighter yellow color. So they're very pretty things. Nice to have in your greenhouse. And easy to grow. They're not warm growers, they're intermediate growers. Now this is one I put in just because I, when I first started growing these intergenerics, I lived down here. I lived over in uh, Rancho Palos Verdes. called the Don City in Gold Beach. It's a variety of well. I got an HCC on it and I raised it from a little seedling down when we live down here. And it's a it's a tigrinum cross with a, a, a white Madonna blossom. And it turns out a light yellow. As you can see nice shade and nice big flowers. Uh, it wouldn't get an award now because it isn't a good enough shade for that type of thing now, but uh, at the time it was a big breakthrough. Now this is a thing I just, I got an award on fairly recently. This is a Don Wilsonara Solana Pixie or as a Mesa Sunrise. Uh, uh, Wilsonara means that it has uh, Odonna Glossum and Cochleova and Oncidium. And the Oncidium in this case is Tigrinum. So this is another Tigrinum hybrid. And uh, it certainly has been a marvelous thing for me. It blooms a couple times a year. And uh, it comes out with quite a few flowers on a very small plant. The plant's quite small, so if you're pressed for space, this is the one for you. You'll have maybe 15, 16 flowers on quite a small plant, maybe in a three-inch pot. 
And so that makes a beautiful display. And as I said, I got an AM on this. And I tried to breed with this, and I haven't had much success so far. I don't know why. But it just has to bred. I finally put, this is where I put type, well, this is local Kyle. This is a, a 
the first generation of the carbon hybrid. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Presidium Wild Warrior, which is the Brassia starter. Uh, Brassia by Nicidium. Uh, really a very vigorous thing. In, in warm greenhouse, these things really will take over your, they'll, they'll come out with dozens and dozens of beautiful flowers on a nice, big, vigorous plant. So they're really easy to grow. But uh, I don't think they're quite as exciting as the big uh, Donna Blossom types. Here's one that is. This is a Donna City of Bittersweet, variety of Santa Barbara, which has an ACC. Now, this is the a local carlin hybrid cross with Odonna Blossom Big Dement. Plus it's got a regular Christmas type Odonna Blossom. We'll come to those later. Uh, but this has a very complicated heritage. These will grow, again, this is one of those kind that will grow warm or cool or intermediate. So most of you can grow these. They do do a little better uh, in cool and intermediate houses, but they will grow. And they'll also grow outside in Santa Barbara, so I assume they'll grow outside here. A lot of flowers, uh, about two and a half inches on the, this one. They vary from flower to flower, from plant to plant. Uh, and this, the inflorescence is branched, so you get a very pretty looking inflorescence. Now, this is the Colmenara root leaf, which means it's, it's Odonna blossom in this case, or Oncidium in this case, Oncidium Kukukana, brought with an Odontonia, which is Odonna blossom by Notonia. And that makes this thing, which has, oh, probably 75 flowers out of six foot inflorescence, it's branched. And the flowers are quite large, the flowers are three inches. So this is a really exciting thing. The only thing that's bad about it is the color is weak. It's not a very strong color. And I've never been able to get one of these awarded because the judges don't like this color. However, it's become a very good pair. Uh, I don't know if I put it. I think I put it one of his children in later. It's not here, but further down. Uh, that's an upside down one. Like that. Very exciting. That's on City of Andrea, right? Starbucks, And this is a very good parent. Again, this is a different, this is the Crispum type of on City. It's a totally different type than the first one I showed you, the Veracosa type. And it's different. There's a lot of different types. Now, there's a bunch of these Crispums. There's types. There's about nine species that belong in this type. And they're all pretty, and they all make nice hybrids. Here's one of the hybrids. That's the uh, Notasia Almac, which is a Notonia across the grass here. And that was crossed with our city of Indiana. And isn't that pretty? Uh, I think that's a really nice plant. The plant's kind of nice and restrained, doesn't take a lot of space, and it has maybe 12 flowers in it. So it's a nice little plant. Flowers are three inches, so pretty good size. Now this is a real fun one. I like this a lot. This is another species. This is on City of Sarcodes, where I start at ACCALS. And when it got its award, it had uh, Two spikes, you can see them there side by side, and both branched. It had almost 100 flowers on it. And that was the second time it had bloomed, so it was just a young plant. Uh, very pretty these are, and they're very dominant when you make crosses with them. Here's one of the crosses. The only thing that's changed is the same shape and the same kind of a spike with just as many flowers, but it's just a different color. And this was, that's uh, primary cross of Sarcodes, cross with Don Blossom, Victor Yens. So uh, you can see how dominant that is. Uh, but it does make nice light. Now, this is another of those same kind of species. This is 
that city informs AI. This is the best shade one from that group, although not the best color. But they are very nice and round. And here's one of this type. Now this is called Presidium Squawk and Splay, variety gold and gray. That got ACC. That's a cross of uh, Orzei with uh, Presidium Gilded Urchin. So it's got a, it's got a leucocyanin in it plus Orzei and plus a brassy. It's a nice big flower, about uh, oh, four inches and about oh, 12 to 15 on a nice long branching, a nice long uh, spike that does not branch, but a nice arching spike. And I think they're very graceful, and the form isn't what you would call round exactly, <laughs> but they certainly are graceful and a nice color. Now this is another type of oncidium again. Another obsidian species, this is obsidian macranthum. Now this is totally out of line with all the others because all the others have big lips, don't they? More lip than any other. And this one, the lip is the smallest part of it. These have a, quite a different chromosome number. Uh, they probably aren't really obsidians at all. But uh, we put them in that group because they, there are many group four. And they do breed with these, of course. And here's